much like the video that I put out yesterday might have hit the nail on the head. I mentioned in that video that I had a hunch that the killer in the Highland Park and Rampage killing had a uh, Keltec Sub 2000. It has just been announced a couple of hours ago that that is in fact what he had. In 2020, he bought four weapons. Uh, the weapon used in the July 4th attack, a uh, Celtic Sub 200. Now, let me tell you my reasons for thinking that's what the gun was. One, how was he able to conceal it so easily? Two, the report of the firearm going off as he was shooting. You could tell that was not a 308, did not sound like a 223, and it certainly didn't have the high pitch pop or snap of a 22. Just had a feeling it was a, more of a, a pistol caliber, if you will. The last and really the icing on the cake was the very fact that they wanted so desperately to tie this to an AR-15, so they said it was similar to um, an assault weapon or similar to an AR-15, but they knew darn well they couldn't call it that because it absolutely was not an AR-15. That told me that it had a whole lot of similarities to an AR-15 and might have looked really super scary like an AR-15, but it just absolutely was not one and they couldn't even make that jump to make it do that. But I just wanted to hurry and throw this quick video out there to let you guys know that that is, in fact, what it was. We knew it wasn't an AR-15 based on the way they kept dancing around it. So, guys, uh, thanks for always watching. Guys, if you don't mind, please ask your friends to uh, subscribe and share the videos that I have if you don't mind. And I do apologize for my overly professional dress today, but I'm just leaving a funeral home. So, thanks, guys. Thanks for always watching.